So hey, right here, please. Mouthpiece. Okay. Right here, please. Okay. These are extremely high. Not high, extremely high. It's okay. They're just going to come up, okay? So anything that's in here, I'm going to let them work because it's the hip line, okay? Mouthpiece. I gave you guys both instruction. I just want to remind you to please listen and follow my instructions at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Fight hard, fight clean. Good luck to both of you. When we look at this tail of the tape, I think that most of the advantages will go to El Flacco. Doug. Yeah, but it's it's very it's very slight. It's stay slight back. with his middle weight. Bolichuk is just one inch taller at, at six stay foot back. tall. He's stay just back. one year younger at, at, at 26. Stay back. And his reach is just a little bit longer. I think it's a good physical matchup. It's going to be an interesting style matchup. Both guys describe themselves as aggressive, come forward uh, boxer punchers. Uh, and I think that's all that Boachuk does. He, he, he grinds. He comes forward, and he's a volume puncher, and he's working the head and the body. Um, and with trouble, however, with Ibokwe, it's in spots. He'll come forward in spots. He'll let the hands go in spots. He's got nice, fast hands. He's athletic. Um, but then he's defensive as well. And, and he's on offense and then defense. Um, he sits in the pocket, but then he gets on his move. So it's in spots where you see the offense. Does he have the power to get the attention, stop, the real stop. attention Nobody of punch. El, Step El out. Flacco off of Box. that southpaw style? Uh, Boa Chuk told us his, his best punch, and I think we'll see it at some point. Left hook to the body. It is. Although there's not a lot of body because those trunks are, this look like Lennox Lewis trunks there, <laughs> way up high yeah. by trouble. And, and uh, Jack V says uh, he made a mention of it, uh, how high they were. He's going to let those shots on the belt line count. But he both way to his credit. He's uh, trying to present some trouble here early for Boachu. Said he would come forward and he's trying early. He's got a smart jab. Yes, he does. Doesn't waste punches. Covers up well. You we'll see some upper body movement from him. So he's not, he's not just there to be hit. Only seven KOs in his 16 wins, where, as you mentioned in the open, uh, 19 wins, 19 KOs. But he's not a one-hitter quitter. He doesn't have that type of, um, you know, grind. Yeah, it's it's out it's out of it. yeah all of the rush. stuff it just come from an accumulation of punishments. He both way made a point of saying, "Hey, Smitty, I have never been stopped. This guy has a few fights ago, and I'm going to make him try to make him remember that." He'll have to take some chances to do that, or he'll have to survive for several rounds as Brandon Adams did. Brandon Adams was able to catch him in the eighth round, but it was a fight where Adams was trailing on the scorecard. His right hand by Boachu. Difficult to first round the score, though. It's got a lot of stuff going on by both way. Boachu trying to find the range, but stop, 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 way, uh, stop, stop, stop. letting his hands go and a little bit more than Boachu. It's definitely a competitive round. Bolichuk never stops working. Now. No, the judges like that. Yes, a lot. Rough, come on, man. Bullshit. How'd you have that? How'd you have that first round scored? Um, I, I edged it to Bolichuk. And uh, the, the mind games have begun <laughs> with the Bolichuk. Actually, they began yesterday yes. at the weigh-in. I was that was a, a an intense stare down and he's been talking mess. Oh yeah, nice. I like those shoes. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. If I They don't beat your shoes, okay. but they're I mean All right. I mean let's see, he's color coordinated, definitely. And listen, I don't mind shoes like that. The tassels off of uh, you know the, the Hector Camacho esque trunks, but you gotta be fast and flashy if you're gonna dress flamboyant. Gotta make it work. Right. Interesting first round. Uh, I, I again, I scored, I scored that round even. 
But if I were going to lean That's somewhere, fair. I'd do bullet shoot. A lot of these people in boxing now said, oh, you can't have even rounds. Can't have even rounds. Can't do it. Got to go one way or the other. Sometimes a round is even. My opinion, yeah. Right now, Ibokwe coming forward. He's kind of the guy trying to be the aggressor, and he did tell us he would do that. Go, he says he that you hold told him. us that he feels pressure will win the fight, but he's going against, as Doug mentioned so many times, a pressure fighter in Boachuk, so he's trying to beat him at his own game. Yeah, and, and, and Boachuk is, is, is not just a pressure fighter, he's a volume puncher. I was able to find a, a couple of... Uh, videos of Ibokwe, and what I did notice in the fights that I saw is that he uh, tends to slow down a little bit. Uh, I saw him tire a few times, but he's been eight rounds four times. Bulletin's never been beyond eight, so we'll see uh, how fatigue and stamina play into oh, this. Nice I, left hook. Yeah, Ibokwe is taking too many flush shots to the head. He needs it to em employ some, some head and upper body movement, hold, or, or just uh, get on his bicycle. Because he's eating too many flush hooks and crosses. And I think Bullet Bullet Duke, what he'll do is go, after this, he'll go down to the body, probably. But right now, he's finding a lot of target there, right on the head of the both way, causing a lot of trouble for trouble and hurting him with some of these shots. Yeah. He's snapping the head back of the both way, twisting it, snapping it back. Judges are taking notice, and I think Ibokwe's eyes are being open. He's like, wow, because just watching Boa Chu, you know, on YouTube videos or so, Ibokwe was not impressed. He was like, this dude is basic, and this is going to be a cakewalk. Well, this is not a cakewalk right now. Good shot, setting down on his shots, Boa Chu. I like the way he planted a right hand to what body was given to him by Ibokwe. Yeah, and you see... Bolachuk will take a step back. He blocks well on the inside. Um, he's a come-forward fighter. He's a workhorse, but he's not that easy to hit. He's not as easy to hit as he looks. Oh, he has pretty tight defense. And that, that fight that, that he lost, he was ahead. Yes. Going into uh, the, you know, the round that he got stopped, right? Yes. And we should note that that fight took place in Puerto Rico. I think it was outside, and I think it had been raining. And the canvas was extremely slippery. Speaking of canvas. Yeah, by the way, not to take anything away from Brandon Adams' victory. The, the canvas was just as slippery for him as it was for Well, speaking of canvas, I tell you what, if he keeps taking those shots, he might taste this canvas here at the Quiet Cannon because the, the cannon shots right now are being delivered by Boachu. Yeah, round one was close. Round two was all Boachu. That one's not a draw on Smitty's call. No. <laughs> Round two, lots of highlights, Start all from Boa Chuk. There's a brief moment of some body shots from Ibokwe. Boa Chuk covers up very well and always returns fire. That's a straight right, and not only snaps the head back, but good? sends Ibokwe back a few steps. Right, and here's another straight right, backing Ibokwe to the ropes. And he's been a sitting duck for hooks, short hooks on the inside. It's a double hook, straight right from Boa Chuk. Once, once again, getting Ibokwe against the ropes. And I love what that man is doing. He's beginning with the jab and finishing with the jab. An old school tactic. What isn't an old school tactic are those arms up on the uh, ring ropes there. Yeah, he old school trainers did not like you doing dog. that. No, yeah. <laughs> Angelo Dundee Three. would always slap Ollie's uh, hands off of there to let the blood flow. Right. Ibokwe trying to use that right jab, but now it appears Boachuk's just walking right through it. You can see the confidence in Boachuk. I mean, he had it even before the fight, but he's feeling it now. He can start to work that body of uh, Ibokwe. He is very tempted that left hook to the body and a big right hand to the head. And Boachuk, it's not like an arrogant confidence. It's sort of a, a, a confidence that comes from a lot of hard work. It's somebody who... He enjoys training every fact. Oh, that was in preparation. Beautiful. 
left hook to the body, tries to come up with a uppercut. And you, you mentioned, you're right, the, the, the pressure, he applies this kind of pressure that will, it will tire you out just from him coming forward like he is. Because he, he, he gets in a position where he lets you throw some shots, but he just throws his own. And see what he's doing right here. That is, trust me, that's a tiring out Ibokwe, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Ibokwe's technique is beginning to unravel like the dreadlocks. And it, he's going to need to, to, to earn some respect soon here, either with an uppercut or like a, a body shot or something that's going to make Boatuck take a deep breath and back off stop, for just a second stop, because right stop. now Boatuck is just smothering him and overwhelming him with sheer volume. Now he's smiling as he walks in and um, gosh, that's, that's got to be demoralizing and scary yeah. if you're sharing the ring with Boatuck with that shaved head and, and he's kind of got that serial killer look. I thought that was Usyk. <laughs> <laughs> Usyk's got that too. <laughs> also from Ukraine. <laughs> I don't even want to go there. Right. I'll get in trouble. Yeah, let's not get canceled. <laughs> yes. uh, right in by Boachu. There he tries again. The, 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 the trunks are so doggone high, and he's got the right elbow up there, and that's blocking him. But uh, eventually, that left hook's going to dig in, and uh, it could be the coup de grace. Yeah, and, you know, the thing about the, the Brandon Adams fight is that in Adams, Boachu is in there with somebody who's very strong. Um, somebody who could hold his own with the, the top middleweights. And Adams could block punches while he was on the move and very caging, you know, and how he rolled the punches. But it, it seems like the both is just taking a lot of flat punches to the, to the head and the body. And, and you know this as being a veteran writer and commentator, historian, that you know, sometimes a loss can do you a lot of good. Yes. You know? I mean, nobody likes to, to suffer a loss, but... He was able to come back and get a victory, and he's dominating right now. Big round for Boachuk again. Yeah, he both played remains the final, but he's, he's lost this round three. You get a little tape and just tape his hair back. Okay, tape his hair back. Round three was another Boachuk round. Chewy. Not only did he win it, I'm but he won it in his typical his fashion. Back. Landing uh, just a multitude of shots. Here's Ibokwe trying to land an uppercut, but he was a sitting duck for a, a one-two combination right down the pike from Boachuk. And there's a nice right cross landed right at the bell. As a jubilant Boachuk walks back, struts back to his corner. Round, and you're right, I can see. I haven't okay, seen great, him as much great. as you, but you're right. He's not a one-punch guy. And one of the reasons why he's not two is Chewy. something that's actually Walk. effective because he doesn't completely Force, commit back, because he always wants to throw the next shot. Yes. And I like that in a fighter. Time, 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 time. Get him out. Number four, get him Some out. confusion in the Ibokwe corner. Four, know. four. They should have been out of the ring quicker. Oh, I think they were fixing his um, his dreadlocks. Yeah, they're taping the hair to, to tie those together so they don't get um, in his face and in the field of vision. Oh, nice body shot. They heard the uh, Doug Fisher reference to those <laughs> dreadlocks, and they yeah. decided to get something done about it, but it's not helping any right now, is it? Yeah. He's hurt. He got hurt by a body shot there, I think. I really... Yeah, well, the body shots open up the head shots. And Bullitschuk is landing um, not just single shots, but, but one two combinations to the you can't head. see him taking a lot more of this. Well, he shouldn't take too much more of this. I mean, he's tough and he's defiant. He actually has a good shin. He's, he's definitely durable, but he needs, to, he needs to get his offense going. That's why I wouldn't be surprised if it's a body shot that gets him out of here. And maybe that's why he has those trunks so high. Well, not a bad idea if he can get away with it. That's right. But if something is thrown to anyone on that green belt line, uh, Jack's going to let it go, Jack Reese. This is simply one-way traffic right now, and it's all down from Ukraine. Nice and relaxed and poised. Yeah, and not squaring up in front of Ibokwe. You see, he's circling, he's moving, he's spinning Ibokwe. He's got some footwork. Flat-footed, not completely normal. I just think corners and, and, and the ropes is the wrong place for Ibokwe. I've seen, um, you know, footage of Ibokwe 
on a stick and move game. And I, I would imagine that's, that's what he needed to do from round one. Mouth is uh, opening up. That's oh, there. That was a beautiful left hook to the body that found its home. He came back with a left hook to the head. Yes, and these are um, these have been energy sapping body shots from Bochy. I know we still have a long ways to go, but from what I see now, uh, I can't see this one going, Tim. Yeah, we, I mean, you can see the difference in the body language of the Bochy. Look at the mouth. That's yeah. it's, it's bleeding and it's wide open. And, and you know, if he doesn't have a broken jaw, it can cause a broken jaw. I wonder if they'll take a good look at him after uh, if he makes it through this fourth round. Yeah, because uh, Boachuk is not going to get tired. You can't count on that. You can't expect to take him in deep rounds and, and think he's, his, his work rate is going to fall off. A powerful, accurate shot. And you're right. Uh, trouble is, is, is hanging in there and doing the best he can, but it is simply not even close to being enough. These are really solid shots. Dangerous because there's a lot of them. Yeah, um, Ibokwe is an extremely uh, prideful fighter, um, but proud fighters have to be safe in themselves. We'll see if the corner starts to think about that at this point. Maybe it's a little too early for him. I, I don't know. Time. Done. Done. Uh, I think Jack Reeves is just calling the ringside position over to Ibokwe's corner to, to check in on him. And we're going to see why. Yep. Right cross is followed by left hooks like this. That 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 two piece combination, head snapping, energy snapping. There's a straight right, a lead straight right, landed by Boachuk. Boachuk is, is uh, avoiding the return fire of Ibokwe as he walks him down. There was a shotgun jab followed by a straight right. These are damaging punches. These are clean shots. These are head snapping shots. Energy snapping shots. Hook to the chin, followed by right cross. Brutal stuff. And, and while you're saying all of that, Jack Reese and the, the, the doctor were in there, and Jack was being quite adamant that uh, you know, I, I think I'm not going to allow this guy to take these kinds of shots much longer. It's a lot. They're solid head shots. Hey, uh, I'm feeling five. dizzy just calling yeah. the action of those headlines. So that's the effect I have on a lot of my broadcast <laughs> partners. Okay. Hey. Well, let's see. Uh, this has been great. Looks like um, they're going to let him out. But look at but look at Boachuk in his corner. Yeah. The stool's out. He's on his feet. He's feeling good. He's like, they're either going to stop it or they're going to let it go. And if they let it go, the party continues for me. Because yeah. Boachuk loves this. How, how long is this in? Okay, there they go. This seems like well, a when, see, when, in California, stop. when the when the physician is examining the fighter, they stop, stop the, the clock. clock. Okay, yeah. okay. I don't think they do that in every jurisdiction in the U.S. No. Well, why would they be consistent? <laughs> Not boxing. Can't have that. I just think that right now, because they're back fighting, if if he Boatru gets him against the ropes and uh, lets his hand go, does a little shoe shine, I think Jack will stop. Yeah. I really do. He was so concerned about the fighter. And I, and I think it would be smart for Boatru to aim um, more shots to the body than the head. Because uh, Ibokwe can't take a really good shot. It's just, he's, he's just taking too many shots, and he's not in there with a the feather fist of fight. He's in there with the guy with heavy damaging hands. And it's this kind of damage that, that um, leads to tragedy. Yeah, yeah, it's not, not the one hitter put him. He's right. It's uh, accumulation of punishment. I, I've been at about unfortunate six fights where fighters. Uh, didn't make it, and this is the kind of thing. Constant, consistent headshots, and it's usually not from a big puncher. It's right. from a, a volume kind of guy with yes. heavy hands, but right. not the one punch. Those are too solid, and he scored two solid shots. Tell you what, Boatswick is looking really good, and he's, he's keeping the chin tucked better than he did uh, prior to his loss. Yeah. yeah, he's responsible on defense despite dominating. He, he is an offensive fighter. Offensive force um, and a physical marvel um, uh, in terms of his conditioning. Tony uh, Steady tries to yeah. train with Mexicans because he has the same kind of value. Yes. Yeah. And um, uh, if, if Manny Robles can, can teach.
teach him some, some ring savvy, uh, add to his ring generalship and his defense. And we might be looking at a future uh, contender at 154 pounds. I got to give Gokwe a lot of credit for hanging in there, man. Yeah, likewise. Took a big, deep breath there. There are not a lot of fighters that can take this much punishment. Obviously, 19 others didn't. On board troops. Resume, good body shot, digs in there. Uppercut, comes forward. Another beautiful body shot, really did some damage. I'm worried about that mouth wide open. Oh, there was a right to the bread basket. Landed by Boachuk, I can't believe that uh, he both, he's just, he's taking these shots. He's just squaring up and he's so I mean, at, at this point, I know he can't feel anything with that. It registered, but his body shots just, they still suck the wind out of you, take the energy from you. Devastating. And they hurt. Ten seconds to go here in this round. Round five. I guess he makes it through. What will happen in between rounds? I don't see I don't see why it should continue because how many clean shots has Bolsa been caught with? And you can count on one hand. I'm not gonna watch much more of this. No, you're not. No, you're not. Tell him, tell him. I heard Jack saying he's not going to take much more, and he's actually asking too, what's the score of the fight? He is, well, in a way, Jack's seen enough, I think. Yeah, I, I don't even think that should matter. Yeah. You know what the scorecards are. Agreed. I mean, the, the amount of punishment a fighter is taking is the amount of punishment. That's that's what we're looking out for. Um, and that's really the job of the referee um, here in California. Rounds? It's also the job of the, the ringside physician, but um, we have to save the, the, the brave for themselves. And I and I think that if Boachuk just would do a little shoe shine, get him against the thing and shoe shine, it would be over. But hold up, Richie, time out. Number six, that's an off piece box. Here we go, round six. Scheduled for 10. Bochuk in the blue with white trim. Ibokwe in the uh, the green. Some white tassels and the one taking the beating. Look at his face. Yeah. Eyes closing, mouth open, bleeding. Yeah, and with the uh, with the dreadlocks and the beard, it kind of reminded me of um, Shannon Briggs. And, Briggs fought uh, Bolichuk's countryman, Vitaly Klitschko. And that was a fight that didn't need to go 12 rounds. And Briggs wound up in the hospital. It, it, it didn't need to go there. Anytime. And I know he's on his feet, and I know he's kind of fighting back. Yeah. And this one should be stopped. His legs buckled there. Yeah. I mean, there is resistance from Ibokwe, but he, he's not he's not able to shift this fight. He's not able to get any respect from, from Bolichuk. There's a difference between being in a fight and being in a fight. But he, he, he's doing just enough yes, to, to stay in, in there. It. Yeah, it's true. He's landing. And he's, you know what? He's actually landed some shots in this round. And maybe uh, Bolichuk is feeling a, a little bit of a burn from fatigue. He's thrown a lot of punches. Beautiful shot there by Bolichuk. Let him go, Ross. Let him go, I, I put Rocky a fuse up the other day, and it wasn't referring to boxing, but it was about sometimes people have to know. It actually was about sometimes uh, fighters have to know, you know, we have to save them from themselves. Yes. And this is a situation where I think Jack might take, Jack Reese might take it into his own hands to save him both way from himself. Mm. But see, see those shots there, folks. They're, he's setting down on them and landing them solid. And uh, they're hitting the chin and the face and the head and there's some, something in there called a brain and when it cascades back and forth it causes a lot of damage you don't play boxing no sir uh oh yeah. 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 Get leverage on that one yeah. and Ibokwe was a sitting duck for it standing straight up once his back touched the round you know, touched the ropes meanwhile I, I give Bolichuk a lot of credit for you know, stay responsible. This is just a, a, basically a, a, a stop. Nobody away punch. From being Nobody stopped, punch. Step but back. But <laughs> you is taking his time and he's patient. He 
Bokwe is, is One more time. incredible, just surviving this long and taking Bolichuk more than five rounds and into the sixth round. And looks like he's going to finish the sixth round. But does he have the physical strength to take advantage if Bolichuk punches himself out and gets tired? I don't think we're going to see a round seven. Stop, stop, stop. Good, no, 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 no. They stopped it. Oh, no. They, they stopped it. I think the corner stopped it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I think so. They stopped it. It's over. Yeah. It's over. Your what hunch was you? right, and I'm glad it was, Smith. Yeah. That was getting hard to watch. Very much so. A one-sided affair. A few moments Corner early stopped, in I'll round, take the rest uh, of you know, one. Ibokwe landed some nice right jabs, but after that, one-way traffic all to Poichu. The man from Ukraine let his hands go. He was very accurate, very powerful. You know what? Um, let's give uh, Ibokwe's corner some credit. They are the ones who stopped it. It wasn't the ref. It wasn't the ringside position. The corner finally saw enough, and I'm glad they did. And uh, this is the reason they did. Uppercuts on the inside, like that one, that right uppercut that landed against the lunging Ibokwe. It's right cross that lands as uh, Ibokwe bounces off the ropes. And, you know, I'd say at this point, uh, Smitty, all Ibokwe can do is grab and hold on. Yeah. And, and he just looks so sluggish. There's uh, no energy. Just really just pride left. I really, I think he should have um, come out boxing in this fight. You said that yesterday after yeah. the fight. You know, when he told us he was bragging about how much he was uh, uh, going to be aggressive, and you said, "I don't," because you have more experience with these guys than I have. You said, "I don't think that's a good strategy." No, because I know, I know what Bolichuk looks like on TV, and and what the reality is when you're sitting as close as, as you and I are. Yeah. And I've watched Bolichuk spar as well. Some really good fighters. And uh, he, he just doesn't let up, and every punch is hard. Yeah, when you, he hits you, you stay hit. And lift the fight another day, Ibokwe, because a few more rounds of that, if he was able to make, could be a career ender. Right, that could be dangerous. But kudos to Ibokwe for, for lasting six rounds. The dude does have a chin, didn't yes, go does. down. Yes. Um, but I think the next time he gets into uh, the prize ring, he should, uh, he should use his head more. Use some of that athleticism and boxing ability. We will make it official. Here's Joe Martinez one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, the end of round number six. We have a stoppage. For your winner by KO victory, his 20th consecutive knockout victory, Sergei El Flaco Bajachu. So El Flaco improves to uh, 20 and 1 with 20 stoppages.